We have a Line 6 Helix here that we've been putting through its paces for the last few weeks. So is this thing any good or is it a total piece of crap? Let's find out. This is the first high end model that Line 6 has made. And as you're probably aware, there's a lot of competition in this area with Kemper Profiler, AX8 and AxeFX2 all being fantastic products in their own right. Interestingly, the Helix, the AX8 and the Kemper Profiler are all very similarly priced, uh, at least here in Europe. So on to the unboxing. The first thing that struck me was the free copy of Horny Girls World Inside. Though my copy didn't work, as all the pages were stuck together for some reason. Seriously though, the first thing that struck me was the Helix is a thing of beauty. The main editing screen is simply unlike anything I've ever seen before in a product of this type. It's a 6.2 inch screen with a resolution of 800 by 480, which makes it very easy to read. The smaller scribble strip screens which you can name as your wish, are also a very classy touch. In fact, aesthetically speaking, it's without a doubt the best looking modeler I've ever seen. And it appears to be built like a tank too. Compared to my last Line 6 products, the Pod HD 500, there's a night and day difference in build quality. Gone is the cheap and tacky wall wart power adapter. Now we have a proper power connector and an internal power supply. The expression pedal seems more rugged and the amount of inputs and outputs the Helix has way exceeds the Pod HD500. Talking about the Pod HD500, when that came out years ago, I was fortunate enough to be one of the first people in the world to get to try that unit. And within a few days I'd started to put up some videos on YouTube. And between them so far they have over 308,000 views. Lots of people in the comments and through personal messages had contacted me saying they bought a Pod HD 500 specifically because of those videos. So when Line 6 Helix came out, I shot them an email. I asked Line 6 if they'd send me a Helix purely for reviewing purposes. I mean, I wasn't after a freebie or nothing. I just wanted to review the thing and then send it back. And they replied with this. No, I'm serious. They didn't even reply. Not nothing. Well, hey, Line 6, I'm not salty. I'm not salty. <laughs> Seriously, though, the second thing that struck me was just how easy this thing was to use. Sure, I'd seen videos and, and people saying it on forums just how easy it was to use, but it, it isn't until you actually have it in your hands that it really rings home just how easy this thing is to use i could not think of an easier way of using something if i tried absolute full marks on that 10 out of 10 for that it is just stunning i didn't read the manual i still haven't and i didn't even read the cheat sheet that came with it um i didn't need to everything i thought would work hmm, i think that'll work if i do that and that it just did you know Brilliant. There's loads of videos already on YouTube showing you how to use and work with the Helix, um, so I'm not going to be going over that here. Here's a piece of music I've recorded specifically using the Helix Plexi model. The guitars on this recording have no post-processing, not even a high-pass, low-pass. This is so you can hear exactly what it sounds like without there being any jiggery-pokery going on in the background.
I'm on a mission to make the best artist tones that you can get from the Helix. And the way I'm gonna be doing this is by capturing impulse responses of various famous artists original recorded tones so what we'll end up with here is impulse responses that you'll be able to play through your helix actually they should work through other modelers too but this will be specifically using helix amps to drive them so it should sound more authentic using the helix i'm going to be doing videos every week and with those videos will be free custom irs that i've made specifically for use with the helix that will match various tones. Now here's where you come in. If you join my Facebook group, which the link is in the description below, I'll be including presets, including the IRs with various artist tones. Which ones I do on which week, I'm gonna leave that up for you guys to decide. Whichever's the most popular will be the ones I will make for that week. And I'll share the links in that Facebook group. I would ask you don't share these links outside of that Facebook group um, and that is really the only condition oh and don't sell them as well I don't want anybody making money from these so other than that they're absolutely free I'll keep doing it as long as people want them and my intention here is, is just to get the best sounds we can get out of the Helix